hello viewers how are you uh, in this video we will explain the working principle of uh, absorption chiller and uh, we will tell that uh, how an absorption chiller works and uh, what are the main components of the absorption chiller and uh, what is uh, the criteria and uh, how uh, absorption chiller works so viewers uh, first of all uh, i will explain that there are two compartments first compartment is called high pressure higher pressure compartment and the lower pressure compartment is this one so there are two compartments higher pressure compartment and lower pressure compartment the pressure in the uh, i mean higher pressure compartment is one tenth of atmospheric pressure i mean it is uh, still uh, less than the atmospheric pressure in uh, in this compartment and this is further lowest I mean we can say that it's 1 upon 100th of atmospheric, uh, atmospheric pressure so this is a low pressure chamber now how to uh, explain the absorption chiller so basically we should uh, read the machine that what what's the output of that machine the output of that machine is that we need uh, cooling uh, and air conditioning of uh, a factory hall or any area that requires conditioning air conditioning so if we talk about this coil this is our i mean uh, we uh, we get the output from this absorption chiller that we we get a very uh, good uh, cold water line from the absorption chiller that is uh, that we can say that at 6 degree centigrade it is going in the production hall and coming back uh, to the absorption chiller at 12 degree centigrade let's say so the uh, coming in the hall is at 6 degree centigrade and leaving the hall at 12 degree centigrade it means that we took a good energy and cooling uh, effect from this coil so now let let me explain that how this complete procedure works so first of all uh, i will tell that uh, there are four components of uh, absorption chiller the number one component is generator number two is condenser number three is evaporator and number four absorber so viewers uh, let's explain that uh, why we say that it's uh, uh, an absorption chiller so the answer is that uh, in absorption chiller the vapors are uh, generated and absorbed so uh, due to the uh, pressure differences and that's that's why this is called absorption chiller and the uh, what the refrigerant is uh, used is the uh, lithium bromide uh, and water solution it is i mean we can say that uh, 60 40 ratio or uh, 50 50 we can add 50 percent uh, lithium bromide and uh, even we can add 50 percent water so this is the mixture of lithium bromide and water also there are some uh, uh, absorption chillers in which uh, the refrigerant is used is like uh, ammonia and water so in this video i am uh, explaining that the the refrigerant is lithium bromide and water solution so let's explain that how it works first of all we will explain the generator part generator part uh, has a coil this coil is coming from uh, any heat source like uh, uh, in absorption chiller you can see that there are gas burners or there can be also uh, 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 heat is generated via exhaust chimney of uh, any uh, electric generator so we need the heat source it can be a, a natural gas burner or anything that can generate some heat so this coil gets uh, heat at 90 degree centigrade and entering into this coil uh, and water leaving at 80 degree centigrade so what happened here in generator we see that this coil is uh, carrying uh, the lithium bromide solution and lithium bromide solution is uh, dropped on this coil because it was in liquid form and uh, it uh, was uh, at uh, normal temperature so it 
uh, gained heat from this coil that's why the temperature of this coil is reduced so the vapor uh, the the liquid uh, mixture is dropped on this coil and what happens that the due to the uh, boiling uh, point difference or like uh, different chemical properties water is uh, vaporized at this uh, temperature and at this pressure water is vaporized and the lithium uh, bromide is diluted i mean it is not evaporated it is uh, uh, submitted here and the water is evaporated this way so in generator what happened the lithium lithium bromide solution is actually uh, separated water vapors are removed to condenser because they are they are lighter in weight they are in gaseous form and they move towards condenser and the lithium bromide uh, solution is still in liquid form and now this part completes like uh, this coil has reduced its energy and the uh, lithium bromide solution is separated now we talk about the condenser what happens in the condenser in condenser there is a cooling coil that is coming from you can say that a cooling tower and uh, uh, the when the water vapors are uh, uh, strike with this coil they condense so now this uh, water vapors are now condensed actually in absorption chiller water is working as a refrigerant so we we wanted to achieve in this chamber that uh, we wanted to separate lithium bromide from uh, water so we have separated them now what happens with the water uh, in uh, the lower pressure chamber in this chamber water is moved from upper chamber to lower chamber in this way now here what happens it is uh, uh, i mean we know that uh, at very low temperature uh, oh, sorry very low atmospheric pressure what happens as uh, i mean this coil is entering at 12 degree centigrade of temperature and when the water falls on it water absorbs the energy at this atmospheric pressure water absorbs energy and becomes gaseous form again in this depart uh, compartment also so water falls on this coil and evaporates and moves towards absorber and this in uh, uh, resulting this coil loses some heat so uh, you you can see that uh, the coil was entering in the uh, evaporator at 12 degree centigrade and leaves at 6 de degree centigrade now this 6 degree centigrade coil can be taken to the factory hall and they were uh, uh, some air handling units and uh, you can say that fans are installed uh, i mean air handling unit is the uh, is the machine that has a cold water coil and a fan fan throws air on the coil and the air is gets cool and moved into the uh, factory hall and uh, when the uh, air is cooled the coil gets some temperature and moves uh, out from the uh, factory hall or like that so this coil has lost uh, energy due to this water and water is vaporized by absorbing some energy and moves towards this way now what happens here here you can see that uh, the cooling water is entering uh, from here and uh, and you can see that uh, at first part we we will also talk about the lithium bromide solution what happens with this solution lithium bromide solution is moved uh, in this way and here here is heat exchanger is installed for efficiency why it is installed because uh, we want uh, that uh, uh, if uh, at absorber we see that uh, we will talk about heat exchanger later let's see what happens with the uh, lithium bromide solution now at this point uh, lithium bromide uh, solution is dropped and uh, it is mixed with the water vapors water vapors were present here in the gaseous form and lithium bromide uh, was in liquid form so they mixed together and condensed here why they are condensed because they got some uh, energy uh, some some cooling effect from here 
and lost some energy so by losing some energy the vapors become liquid in liquid form so and by mixing you can see that uh, it is uh, lithium bromide uh, in liquid form and this is uh, in uh, water vapors they are both are mixed and are condensed here so now with the pump these are moved again to the generator so in this way so uh, before moving to the generator we can also lose some energy uh, here i mean we, we for the uh, improvement of efficiency we can have some heat exchange here so that it gets some energy before moving towards uh, 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 the generator part so that uh, this can be uh, saved some, some little bit energy is saved due to these uh, heat exchanger so this was the complete uh, i mean procedure of uh, uh, absorption chiller now we will let's see the next slide in this slide we see the uh, animation and uh, in this animation the same procedure is explained but uh, this is a different diagram uh, please do not uh, confuse with the color coding and uh, the color coding shown in previous slide was different than the color coding in this slide same procedure is explained the, this is the upper chamber uh, uh, I mean this is the higher pressure chamber and this is very low pressure chamber same procedure is explained here condenser generator evaporator and absorber and the all the coils you can see that uh, that were explained here there are four I mean this is generator coil this is uh, evaporator coil this is absorber coil it is this coil is the same I mean this is a cooling tower on this point this and this there is a cooling tower installed on the roof and uh, if it look like this so you can also say that for example in, in, on, this is lithium bromide solution with, uh, lithium bromide and uh, water solution is uh, coming here it is dropped on this very uh, hot coil uh, when dropped the water is vaporized this is water vapors and then the liquid lithium bromide is uh, condensed here I mean it is placed here it is it, it got some energy but it is still in liquid form so the uh, vapors are moved here and then from the uh, condenser they also go become liquid form this is water pure water so water is moved to this way to the uh, lower pressure chamber so now and uh, the uh, lithium bromide was more like this if we talk about evaporator this pure water then falls on this evaporator coil that is coming from the uh, factory hall or the environment uh, the plant so this when falls on the evaporator it becomes in gaseous form as it gets the energy from this blue coil so when this gets energy it becomes in gaseous form and here it is uh, water is still in gaseous form and when, when the 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 uh, i mean lithium bromide solution is coming like this here is a heat exchanger it uh, loses some its energy and uh, comes here in uh, normal temperature and it is dropped uh, in this absorber and because there are water vapors present already this again mixes mixes and uh, due to this coil this is this coil is coming from cooling tower and going to the in this way and this is the cooling tower you can see so this was at very cool uh, i mean it's no cool temperature cooler temperature and what happens water mixture uh, water and lithium bromide are mixed together and becomes in liquid form again so this solution was initially i was explaining that this water plus lithium bromide solution goes to the generator this way so this is the complete cycle of uh, absorption chiller we have explained the components of the absorption chiller we have explained the working principle of uh, absorption chiller and uh, working principle is that it is it works on the principle of uh, combining and uh, separating the chemical solution like in this uh, uh, process we combined 
lithium bromide with water and then separated lithium bromide from water so please don't forget to subscribe our channel we need your motivation we need uh, this for our motivation as well we want to make more videos for you on difficult topics and uh, I want to help uh, all the engineers and teachers so this is our video and we apologize the that we our previous video was having low qu sound quality now I think uh, sound quality is good for any question any query please you can ask uh, in comment section and we will again request that please subscribe us we need subscribers and motivation from our viewers thank you very much and uh, take care bye bye